morning, friends. Happy Saturday. As we gather together for prayer this morning, we are going to ask a prayer for protection. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we acknowledge that you are our protection. We pray that as we face the sometimes overwhelming world in which we live, that we know that we are protected by you. We are protected against the world by your shield. We know that we are safe in your arms. Friends, as we pray today, I invite you to realize that you are safe with God. I want you to think about how God keeps you safe in ways that can only come from him. Think about how you can find strength in his power. Lord, as we continue, we pray for awareness of your presence. <clears throat> we pray that we will know of the protections you provide in the world. We pray for wise decisions by our leaders based upon science, not politics, but also wise decisions by us as we live in the world with others. We pray that as your disciples, we act in protection of our neighbors as you act in protection of us. Amen. Friends, the reading for today comes from the book of Ephesians, from the sixth chapter, starting at the tenth verse. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand on the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith with you, which will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful and safe and blessed day knowing that you are protected by God. Amen.